I swear to you, I did do it. I did not do it at all. I did not. Don't you even dare to lie about it. John, after me, you remorselessly went back home to do the same thing to Mama. A blind widow. How dare you? What come over you? How can you even believe that? That I will poison those cats? What would be my game? Freedom. You want the freedom to go away. And then what? Just stop it. Stop for a moment and think. Get freedom from the crisis in our family is what I desired. Why would I want to kill any of you to achieve that? I mean, I can simply just go to any big city, join the girls that live properly and live life on the past place without having to soil my hands with blood. My own blood! Without killing us, we will be a big scare on your conscience wherever you go. The thought of us will never allow you to enjoy your freedom. That's why you did it. Deny it. Deny it, Shama! Assuming you were right, which do you think will be the biggest scare to my conscience? Abandoning both of you? Or, or killing my own blood brother and my mother? Which? Listen, Shama, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you. Again, whatever happens, henceforth, I don't want you getting involved in my case. If they wish to roast me alive, get away. Let them do it. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to Mama. Pray that she survives just like my son made who ate my own snacks day. Just pray, Chama. Pray. What up? Come on, take me out of here. You have to believe your own sister. I am the truth. I know. Take me out. Mama, Sokoto's son was awful. But I thank God I'm back. It's finally over. Woo! And Mama, I didn't come back the way I left. Okay. Mama, I'm back with my NYC certificate. <laughs> 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 I missed everything. Yeah. The loving company of my family. Yes. Oh. We share your feeling, my son. Yes. It's my joy. Oh, Papa, that was you. why I left as early as possible this morning. Really? To know Panta. To get the best of my wife. Wow. Yes, for us to celebrate with. Brother, that's not all. Papa slaughtered his biggest secrets. Made Mama and I prepare you a huge meal. What? All that he did before he left for Lopanta. 
Papa, <laughs> you, you did that? Yes. <laughs> Papa, what, what did you do that for? Oh, my son, let me tell you. Those who be mourn with somebody, those who cry and cry bitterly with somebody when he has problems, they never forget to rejoice with him when good things happen to him. Exactly. Today, his majesty will be here. Elders, my fellow elders yeah. of the royal cabinet, they will all come over here to party with us. Party? Yes, yes party. Because you have made us proud. Yes. And your father and I pleaded with the elders of Ihube to join us in a small party to celebrate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Miss you all, Mama. Yes. Oh. Yes, so uh, Papa. Oh, Papa. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Let's go. Yes, Papa. I can't leave. Who must be here? Papa, your son is mad. Your son is through with his national salary. You are sure. This son that is made to be greater than his father. Papa, thank God. Thank God that many. Hey! Hey! Papa, what one minute? Let me pay the back my head. I'm sorry. Pay, 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 pay. Wow. It's almost Welcome to the People's Palace. Amen. Amen. Osmond and uh, Arinze. I invited both of you here with your fathers for something very important to me. It is so important to me that I am today breaking the tradition I've maintained since I ascended this throne. My next birthday is five months away. But I've decided not to wait until then. What I need to do today must be done. Today, not in five months' time. Osman, Your Majesty. Your father has been my own since I ascended this throne of my father's in my youthful age. Without your father, I don't know how I could have been able to rule this vast kingdom. Thank you, Igwe. Yeah, my thank, you. thank you. You live long. Arinze. <sighs> your Majesty. Your father, Enua, is a trusted friend. You see this man here? I will carry his friendship down to my grave. <laughs> your majesty. He will live forever. He will live long, your majesty. If only these fools knew what I'm doing this for. If only they know what I'm setting them up for. <laughs> That's why I'm decided to appreciate both of you. Yeah. 
what you have in your hands are appointment letters to my oil servicing company. On a monthly salary of 200,000 Naira and cash. <laughs> Tutorial venue. Thank you. Thank you once again for paying the high fees they charge for me to come here for intensive training in preparation for my forthcoming exams. Thank you. Come on, Chioma. What sacrifice didn't you and our parents make to see me through school? Your mates are in their third year in the university now. And you have to stay back so that our parents' lean resources can, can see me through school first. And now that God has blessed me with a job, what sacrifice wouldn't I make for the good of all of you? In fact, if I had my way, I would have sent you to Oxford University straight. Or maybe Yale. Oh. I know. I know you will do anything for my joy. Of course. For the joy of our family. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I promise I will make you, Papa and Mama, very proud by the time I write my exams and come out in flying colors. <laughs> I know you're very intelligent. Thank you. So, Yes. When we finish for the day... Ah, Chief Oba. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Chief. I should proceed to Ihube General Hospital. I hope... I hope Osman is fine. My parents? What about my parents? 
Okay, okay. I I'm coming right away with my younger sister. Yes. Yes. Okay. What did he say happen to our parents? He said he would tell me once I get there. What is that supposed to mean? The last phone is off. I saw his mama's. God, I just. Um, yes, I've read it. See, none of the neighbors who stopped me while I was driving past your compound and begged me to help take your parents to the hospital could actually tell me what really happened. See, all they could tell me was that they, they heard a gunshot <coughs> and the sound of a, 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 a car driving on a high speed from your compound. By the time they could get to your house to know what was going on, they saw your father shot dead and your mother. What? It's calm down, bro. Oh, it's it. You see? Thank God, because by the time we got here, mom was still alive. All right. Um, the doctor and his team took her in to for some checkup. Yes. Yeah. 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 Don't worry about the place. What's going on? Oh, calm down, calm down. I know how devastated you may be right now, but I tell you, there's two hope for your mother. You mean it? Yes, uh, thanks to this young man who rushed her here on time. We have successfully stopped the bleeding and the nurses have taken her to the ward. So come down. Okay. No, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 my mother. Doctor, what is this bandage over her face? Oh, they haven't told you? Ah, uh, well, um, you really have to be strong about this, okay? Strong about what? Huh? Was she as it attacked? Uh, no, uh, but whosoever that uh, murdered your father also pierced your mother's eyes. I want to again accept my sympathy for the tragedy in your family. Uh, it seems um, there is a good news on your mother's state. Mm. Yes, one of the eyes can be salvaged. Really? Of oh, course. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You should act fast before it gets late. What do you have to do? Uh, mm. Uh, well, a complex uh, surgery has to be conducted on that particular eye within 36 hours or she could go blind completely. I have contacted the only hospital that has such uh, facilities to take care of such cases. And they are ready to receive her, but with a covet. Covet? Doctor, what covet, please? Uh, well, they will want to have a deposit of 1.5 million naira from you before they can accept to offer her such facility.
why your majesty here. Thank you so much for, for your kindness. Thank you. No one can help us, God. Are you sure that the people Dr. Sam recommended are competent enough to uh, handle this kind of delicate operation? Uh, I have no choice but to trust them, Your Highness. The peculiarities of this situation leaves me with no other option. If your mother needs to be taken abroad, I'm ready to take care of it all. See, you are more of family to me than just mere subjects. Your Majesty, I, I know, I understand. But going by the doctor's expressed professional opinion, taking that option means that my mother will go completely blind before the necessary arrangements would have been concluded. And I wouldn't want that to happen to her. Not after what happened to my father. Yes. Your Highness. I understand. I understand, my boy. I understand. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much. I'm so good. Please, please give my warmest regards and condolences to your mother and your sister. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Tears and sorrow. We are crying every day. But pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling, God? Where are you? God, where are you? Can't you see the way we are suffering, Lord? Where are you? God, where are you? You said you never abandon us, Lord. Where are you? God, where are you? What's wrong with you? Look now! I have to be at the hospital. Oh God! My car refused to start. And I'm supposed to be at the hospital right now. This guy is supposed to be in perfect condition. Huh? Yeah, um, you know what? Why don't you call a mechanic to check it out? I don't have that time. I have to be at the okay, hospital well, now. So I'll just take a taxi, you know? What? Um, Arise, what? come with me. Let me give you a lift down to the hospital, okay? Before proceeding to the bank. Because I want to have a transaction to make for my majesty. I'm going to the bank first. Really? Yes. Then hop in, let's go. Come on. Thank you very much. You know, 
I hopefully I get to we'll get to talk. Yeah, know? sure, sure, sure. So that you can also link me to other businesses. You know, so that I, I'll be making small, small money like is you guys now. Is that what you're saying in a low tone? Ah, well, chill, my bro. I know you guys are doing well. Gotcha. It's just that gotcha, man. I know everything is step by step. Yeah. Shut, shut, shut up! Oh, One more word from you, I'll blow your fucking head off. Smith, put your hands on your head. Lower your head. Smith, yes. What are you doing? Please. Lower your head. Please, Smith. Please. 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 Last month, have you done it? Yes, I have. The briefcase is now where you wanted it to be. Good. And you are with the whole money? Yes, it is. Very good. Now, hurry to the place we agreed. Your guy and I are waiting for you there. I have your visa to Brazil, as His Majesty promised. Sorry, Stanley. I have a change of plan. Meaning what? Meaning your. I knew standing a train station on a wall. The chief royal guard thing was just a cover up. Am I wrong? I don't know what you're talking about, Osmond. Do you really think that after being blackmailed three times by men like His Majesty, that a hard man like me will allow things to continue that way? No, no, no. no my guy. It's not possible. See. Things about you and His Majesty that convinced me that, that if I dare show my face there as you want, that this episode will not end up with a Brazilian visa and some dollars in my hands. And that of my guy, but over a dead body. Listen, I don't know why His Majesty blackmailed us into doing what we did for him to his best friend's family. And I can't take the risk of waiting to find out. You see, for my safety, I'm going away for good. I'm going far away from Ihube, never to return again till I die. Thank you for ruining my life. I thank His Majesty too. And I hope you guys will be brave enough to look my father in his face. And tell him what you did to his only son. I hope you will. Shit! This is not happening. This is not happening! How did this guy know about my past? How? Um, um, what is it? What? What did Osman say?
Because this phone be off now four times. Not now, people know. Not now. Uh, where is your brother? I've not seen him. Like you said, I've got two hours left. He's coming. Uh, the eye hospital they just called, they have not seen any of it. They will get it. They will get it in a short while, doctor. The last time I spoke with my brother on the phone, he told me that he was just leaving the Igwe's palace with the $4,000 he gave him for that purpose. And so he will make the exchange at the bank and then make the payment in the same bank. They will get their last very soon, I promise you. That's okay. Her vital signs are getting stronger. She may regain her consciousness before the day runs out. What, what, what about her sight? Any form of stress on her may worsen the case of the one redeemable eye. My opinion, the only way to stop her not to be subjected to any form of emotional or physical stress is to wake up and see herself going where her sight will be regained at least and it all lies on you people on how fast you get the money excuse me He, he drew a gun at me uh, and before I could say what, he, he snuck me out with a chemical. When I woke up, the money you gave me was gone, your majesty. I couldn't find him. Go ahead, yes. officers. So much. Thank you for coming in and so short as I raised your majesty people with the officers to the station and explain to them everything you've been trying to tell me. Perhaps they will understand you. <laughs> you your Majesty, I, I, are you getting me arrested? It was all smoke, officers. Take him out, right? I do not want to see any stone left unturned in this investigation. Please. Your Majesty, we are going to do a thorough job. That I can promise you. No, no. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God, where are you? God, where are you? Can't you see the pain? I'm being set up. 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 I'm did I hear you say, calm down? My six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars is gone. The guy I wanted is gone. To God knows where. And all you can tell me is, calm down. Come on, Stanley. What's wrong with you? Have you become a soft buffoon or what? I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. No, best. That boy is a criminal. A criminal with $696,000 to his kitty. A knowledge of a plot. 
who would make me face the firing squad is the least thing I wanted when I started this whole affair. What do you want surprises? Least of all, this kind of dangerous surprise. All right, so you came back only to report a failure. You couldn't kill him with his useless friends so that we could use his corpse and finish a reason through the law. you came back with. Your Majesty, I've already mobilized one of my best men to track him and kill him. And I am giving you my word that it will be done within days and not weeks. Assuming I believe you, how do we handle this new twist it has thrown in Arinze's side? How do we push our narrative that he murdered Osmond in order to steal my daughters? And you know that that's the only way we can be assured of getting a death sentence and you know that the whole purpose of all of this is a death sentence death sentence no more no less your majesty i suggest we change the narrative to kidnapping and possibly killing us lord and by the new anti-kidnapping law of the state kidnapping is now a capital offense too and I have already formulated a plan B based on the narrative. Without Osmond found or killed, my man will find and kill him. I am very sure of that. So I, I suggest we discuss about the new plans, Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, I don't know. Osman made away with even the four thousand dollars he gave me for my mother's medical bills. Your Majesty, he took everything.
So, how come this briefcase was found in there if you were not the person that took it there? I don't know, Your Majesty. Find Osman and he will tell you everything. He knows what happened, Your Majesty. Have I wronged you or any member of your family? Look at him. Osman's father. Has he done anything wrong to you or any member of your family? You told us not long ago that you had nothing against Osmond. What is it? Arise, did I not give you employment in my company? With salary and an official car just a few days ago. Did I not give you 4,000? Dollars cash for your angel mother. That is it. Why didn't you tell us that you needed more money? God. What will I say to convince you that I'm innocent? Say nothing, Arise. Osmo. my son, I want to see him, even if he is dead already. Let me just see his corpse. Yeah. I don't need to be convinced of your innocence. I want to see my son. Where is he? <gasps> Honestly speaking, no. I don't know where Osman is. As we speak right now, my mother is still waiting for me at the hospital to come back with the $4,000 His Majesty gave me for, for her operation to at least restore her sight in one of her eyes. And she has limited time for that, else she will go permanently blind. My own mother, permanently blind, after what happened to my father today. I mean, oh no, even if I wanted to steal His Majesty's money, will I do it in a way that would jeopardize my mother's health? Arise. For the sake of the scepter, this royal scepter of our forefathers, tell us where Osman is. Listen, if you want the money, ah, all of it. Take all of it. Take the entire money. See, I will swear. I will swear to you here and now that as soon as you do it, I will ask the police to leave you. To let you go. See, all we are after now is where is Osmond? Did you hear that? Arise. Osmond is my only son, I don't have another. I am old. The last time I achieved erection was six long years ago, if you must know. That means I cannot have children again. Please, save my family from imminent extinction. I beg you, in the name of God. No, honestly speaking, I don't know. I have told you the truth and nothing but the truth. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Officer, 
talk to him until he confesses. Do everything you can. Use everything at your disposal. Break him and let him say the truth. If he passes out, revive him and continue. Continue relentlessly. Continue on a daily basis. Keep torturing him. Look, look, if this boy dies, he dies in the process. Hello? Yes! Yes, it's me, I am Choma Inua. Who are you, please? Sergeant Uzoku from Yubi Police Station. How can I be of help? How can I help you? He attacked me. 
and drove me in his car and he took the money and he also took the four thousand dollars his majesty gave to me he did it Apprehended and, and, and punished for his wickedness. Why? Why? Why be of all people, Chairman? What have I done to the devil that did this to me? What? Only God knows why what happened today happened. It's not for any human being to know. He alone knows. And it's fine because He alone can bring us justice. Yes, yes, you're right. God knows why. He alone knows why. Chama. Call your father. I want to talk to him. Mama, let's let's not disturb Papa. He's he's actually busy at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
your man. I think you should call your father. I want to talk to my husband, your father. At least to tell him that I'm awake. How is that a disturbance? Papa, I only... Only what? Chama. Chama. I know... I know I cannot see your face. But I can hear it from your voice. I can also feel it. You are lying, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know. Then call your father. I want to talk to him. I want to also talk to Arinze. Dial their number. Give me the phone. Do it now, Sean. I can't. I, I can't. Why? She suffered a serious heart attack and that has affected her damaged sight. So your mother and uh, Do, please. Did the doctor tell him anything 
above the worst of our chances. He wasn't specific on that. And he didn't sound quite hopeful too. As I said earlier, you can see for yourself they subjected me to another round of torture. When you left earlier, they are threatening to continue. Why? Why are they doing this? What do they really want? Then I take responsibility for what I did not do. How can I do that, Chama? How can I? Please, something needs to be done, or they will kill me with the way they are going. Please help your brother. Help me. If His Majesty, as much as all I work to them to stop, they will. This torture is happening on His Express orders. Go to him. Plead with him on my behalf. Chairman, you know me. You know that I can't even contemplate what they accuse me of. I'm innocent. Majesty and convince him as much. Please. I will. But what if you refuse to listen to me? What do I do then? There is only one person his majesty can never say no to. second richest man in this kingdom after him Ichiozawa he papa and his majesty were the best of friends that anyone can think of in the entire kingdom according to their friendship they started way back together when they were in primary school it shows that it's more of a, a hard line on issues. But I believe he will listen to you. At least for God's sake. If you convince him, you have convinced his majesty. Speak to his conscience. Cry to him. Beg him. Just make sure you convince him. Please, Joe. Please. Help me.
is where he kept him. I've already told him to keep the money. Let him keep the entire six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars of mine. Let him release Osman. Walk away, free man. Now, isn't that lenient enough? Isn't that? Your Majesty, that would have been the case if my brother is guilty of charge. What is he doing? My brother is only a victim of a crime. Hey! Now, you are cruelty personified. Yes, that's what you are. You are dead! Throw this animal out of my life. If you ever, ever come round here, if I ever see you around this palace, now you break every ounce of this bone, this useless bone. Now throw her out. As for your brother, consider him a free man already. Uh, as soon as I drop you at the bank, uh, I will go to the king and I beg on his behalf. Uh, in fact, everybody knows that uh, there is nothing I ask from the king and he doesn't do. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, if not for another thing. I would do it uh, because of uh, the close friendship I had with your father all his life. You really won't understand how devastated I feel about uh, what happened to him and your mother. In fact, you have brought everything to an end by coming to me. Yes. Thank you, Ichi. Ichi, <laughs> God will bless you. Yes, God you. will reward you oh, really for this. I can't thank you enough. You are welcome. Thank you are welcome. You are welcome. Ichi, thank you. 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 Ichi, uh, what others do with their clothes off. Hmm? Hmm? What? You, you mean. You mean sex? Of course, yes. Yes? It's you, sir. Hmm? Your third daughter is my eighth mate. Oh, come on. The man whose money that your brother was alleged to have stolen. It's not just my king. It's more of a brother to me. And the man whose son your brother was alleged to have kidnapped is a very close family friend. So what 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 do you think made me to agree to assist you people in the first place? My father. Mm. Think about my father. Your childhood friend. A man who, since you lost your wife six years ago, always made sure that his wife made your supper whenever you are in the kingdom. How do you think my father would feel hearing you say this to his own daughter? Just his gruesome mother with his family still crumbling under the weight of this tragedy uh, the dead neither see nor talk I beg to take my leave come on Chama you people need the money and my help yes we do Good. but not in exchange for my pride as a woman 
The world is not a moral arena, Choma. Neither is it an arena for brazen immorality. We are crying every day. The pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Are you by any means questioning my instructions, young man? In my own kingdom. I am ordering, not begging you. If you by any chance do anything other than what I have ordered you to do, I will destroy you. I will destroy your career. I will destroy your generation. Do I make myself clear? Shut up! I have spoken. Doctor, please go straight to the point. The lawyer I consulted to help my brother is in his car outside waiting for me. And every second wasted could be my brother's last. I don't get this. Is there anyone threatening to kill him? So Sam, why did you insist that I come immediately? I'm here now, now. Mm -hmm. so, uh, mm. Well, um, the situation now, the surgery in your mother's eyes is no more necessary. Yes, getting her back on her feet is what we should be talking about. And that will take a whole lot of money. 150,000 naira. Yes, and I will like to get it before I do anything. With what happened to your brother, I have to get it first before or I throw her out. You, you can't be! I am damn serious, Choma. What do I have to do to convince you? Pay the whole money up front today. Jesus, don't do that! Go and meet the accountant. Come back here with the evidence that you have paid. That's it. Doctor, please. Doctor, don't do this. Doctor, don't do this. Oh. I'm begging you. I'm begging you in God's name. We will pay you. We will pay you every money, every dime. As soon as my mother recovers, we will, we will pay you. No, no dear. Yes. I won't commence any treatment on your mother anymore until I get that money before 9 a.m. tomorrow. We'll pay you the balance in three days. Pico, please, I'm begging you, please. In three days, you said. I said to go. We are crying every day. The pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God? While in God's name were his majesty. They call and order me to do this to this lady. And threatens that he is going to destroy my career if I don't do it. Why is he being so correct to this family who are passing through a whole lot? God. He said that his consultation fee is 20,000 naira. And it must be paid before anything else follows. He equally said that we must pay him 400,000 naira to represent you in court. Half of which must be paid up front. I cried my eyes out in his office, pleading with him to follow me to this place without any payment yet. The 10,000 naira I paid at the hospital was the last of my savings. And what do we do? God. Why is all this happening now? What? Why do I have people? Why? 
And there ends the charity work. Until my consultation fee and half of my main charge is being paid. I'm afraid I'm off your case. Thank you very much for saving my life. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Please. I promise you one thing. We will never own you. We will never ever own you. I promise, but you need to sit down and hear me out. Let me tell you my own part of the story. Well, we have all the time in the world for that once I confirm my payment. See you down. Hey! Bye, that can help at this moment. What else man took my phone? Oh. And I, I don't have his number off head. <coughs> Choma. Choma. Yeah. You have to go back to the barrister. Convince him. By any means possible, convince him to get me out of here. Yes. I need to come out. So that I can join you to handle Mama's case. And we can equally plan Papa's funeral. Please, John. I was actually with the lawyer I consulted to help out in my brother's case when you were calling me. I'm sorry I couldn't come immediately. Because why were you calling? You kept calling, insisting that I come immediately. Uh, well, as you already know, uh, this hospital is funded by the state government. I don't know how the Commissioner of uh, Health got to know about your mother's case. He called me a while ago and ordered me to withdraw the three days grace I give to you. That means you have to pay every dime. And that should be done before 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh How is that possible? Don't you, you can't do this. You can't do this to us, please. Shoma, I am only a civil servant. I don't own this establishment. If I disobey the commissioner's uh, orders, uh, I may be sacked. Is that what you want? No, no, that's not what I want at all. Doctor, surely there must be something you can do for us. Well, there is a way out, but it all depends on you. Me? Yes, you. I can pay off the bill. By an exchange of one thing from you. What is it, Doctor? Two rounds of sex. Here and now. If you're ready, I am ready. Yes. Yeah. 
I feel so disgusting about myself. But what can I do? He has a dangerous information about me, which I really need to wrap up. for me to bear everybody has abandoned us oh, please get up get up and help us we have lost everything I have lost everything took him away from me. I need my family back. I need company. I need you, Baba. I really need you.
Thank you for standing your ground. Okay. I'm not the one who can help. Look, Angela, I understand the emotional body in your car. I do. But do not let it turn you into what you're not. You're not a cheap girl. Neither are you a prostitute. And you must not become one, no matter the circumstances. Or what is at stake? Don't! Do it! Thank you! So, what are we going to do now? I have just three hours that I left with me. I, I have 300,000 now in my account. Yes. Part of the 180,000 now housing allowance my company paid me two weeks ago. And some money I saved from my NYC allowing. Some money Papa saved using my account. You know he used to use my account for bank transactions. Go home and get my checkbook. I will make you a check for everything, for all of it. Once you cash the money tomorrow, go and pay Mama's hospital bills. Embarrass the someone's fees. Just go. like a brother. I treat you like a brother. See? I made sure you didn't enter into any campus court because I didn't want you to be contaminated with crimes just like me. Kelly, I protected you from all forms of intimidations. Relations on campus. <laughs> no one dared to mess with you, Kelly. Because they know that I will explode in the face of whoever that does that. How could you, Kelly? How could you, Kelly? How could you pay me with such betrayal? I, I'm so bad. I can't explain I was Recruited by a secret service operative to work as a student-free agent for the DSS, right? Right? He asks you to spy on heads of campus courts and secretly video record them while committing actual crimes. And you agreed. You agreed. You did the job for three years. Three long years. Kelly, without finding out why no arrests were made, based on the videos you made and you agreed Kelly you agreed you did the job for three long years three long years you didn't even care to know why no arrests were made you didn't even care to know why no arrests were made based on the video you, you gave to him right Kelly just because of 50,000 
just because he was paying you 50,000 naira more to me. Just because of 50,000 naira, you messed my life up, Kelly. You messed my life up. You regulated me and my friends. Killing the daughter of an Anglican bishop during a fair great stunt. And you give the tape to a rogue officer working for rogue politicians and other criminals in this country. Do you know how many times? Do you know how many times I and my guys have been blackmailed, committing heinous crimes for people with the tape, with this same tape? Do you know? Three times. Three horrible times, Kelly. And this time, this time the crime is such that I can't even return to the land of my to the land of my birth. Rezo. Rezo was murdered right in front of me and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything to save him. I am my father's only son. Do you know what that means to my father? Do you? <laughs> Honestly, Osman, I never knew that Mr. Kenneth was not a DSS operative. Oh, what he was actually using the tape for to now. I feel like a compact agent right now. Yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm really, really very sorry. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say right now. Please, please. Shut up. Your apology is rejected. It is too late. Uh, Kelly, uh, it's too late. I'm sorry. Just today, debug my native kingdom. Use the same tape you made and forced Rezo to kill an innocent man after forcefully placing the eye of his wife with a sharp object. Mm -hmm. Kelly, mm -hmm. as if that was not enough, I was forced to commit another crime that would make the man's only son to get arrested for armed robbery. I am still alive talking to you because I am smarter than Rezo. Who trusted him so much and got killed by Ibrahim's henchman's bullets? Well, I survived, not just to run away and leave a good life far away with Ibrahim's money, but for revenge. Revenge, Kelly! Revenge against you and Mr. King! Shut up! Well, Kelly, it's too late for you. It's too late for your apologies. By the way, I trust Mr. Kenny before coming here. And I ended it for him and his entire family with bullets in their heads. Not before he confessed with evidence that you, Kelly, was the one who made it tape and gave it to him. Now it's your turn. Open it. Open it. In there, the phone of the police. This area. Now, let's think carefully. Okay. Dial the number there. Dial the number and call them. Tell them that you've mistakenly shot your girlfriend during a fight. Do it now! Shut up! Shut up! Shoot me, right? <laughs> See, listen. 
I am leaving this room to hide somewhere else. Now make the call I told you. Huh? I said call them! Now make the call I told you. Just tell them exactly what I told you right now. tradition that you started since you became the Igwe uh, in which you employ indigents of Ihubi to fill up vacancies in your companies during your birthday celebrations annually. You suddenly broke that tradition and employed two people five long months before the birthday. Those employed were my only son and he knew us only so. Two weeks later, what happened yesterday happened. How do I believe that you have no hand in this? How do 
God believed that we are not the one engineering this and you are still engineering it to eliminate my family and Noah's family so that you can possess our lands. How dare you! How dare you! Wretched soul! Get out of my palace before I I order my guards to give me your empty head on the ladder. Get out! Get out! implications have you no respect for the ancient tool of our kingdom if you don't have respect for that please show show a modicum of respect for me how could I lose respect for the ancient tool of our people and it's occupied. How could I, when you've done nothing but sh show us so much kindness? Your Majesty, I have told you the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I don't know anything about the money or Osman's disappearance. My victim here. Please, believe me. What? That he should believe you? Why should he believe you? Why should we believe you? When the police investigation revealed that you tampered with your own car, defeat Osmond into carrying you in his yesterday. Say the truth and preserve the dignity of the throne of Ehobe. Must you destroy everybody? Must you destroy everything for whatever you started all this for? Arinze, must you? It's yours, I started nothing. My mother is now irredeemably blind because of what happened yesterday. How could I let that happen to her? My own mother, Ichiozala. How could I put her in such a condition? I love everybody in my family. The 
They mean the world to me. I'm innocent. As for the car, I got to know about the deliberate damage done on it from the police this morning. I did not do it. I swear, I'm innocent here. Please believe me. I really said, I told you only yesterday that I was no longer interested in that stolen money. Letting us moves whereabout. Did you think I was lying or something? No, Your Majesty. I know you were not lying. But I don't have the money. I don't know where Osmond is. As a matter of fact, I had to empty my account to enable you to pay lawyers. More lawyers to help you lie yourself out of the mess you created, right? No, Your Majesty, that, that's not all. Oh, you want to deny that too? Okay. Now, who paid another lawyer? to come here yesterday and stop them from beating the truth out of you. Who did? Who did? Huh? Mm. Alright. Oh. Too bad. Too bad that fool is not going to be here to see what's going to happen. He's not going to be here. He will not be here when I beat you black and blue. He will not be here when I pummel you. He will not be here when I... Oh! Go 
boasted that he will come back and finish me off if I survive. Hey. I still don't tell him where Osmond is. Clear out the road. Just pull over. Your Majesty. Uh, um, Your Majesty, we need to go to the hospital to see a doctor. Immediately. It's yours, Allah. You have been sleeping with your sister's daughter. The one who is in the university. And also staying with you during holidays in your house. I have video evidence to prove it. Oh. Uh, Your Majesty, you, you, you are Stanley. I'm sorry to him. You have you have this kind of t I, 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 put it off. Two abortions have been committed. 
by you and the girl in question. There is also a video evidence about it. Now, do you want me to go public or to disgrace you out of Ube? Your, your Majesty, please, no. No, please, please, please. Wait, wait, you. Ichi Ozala. Is this a kind of... Ichi uh, The so-called children, all of them, are the biological children of one of the Reverend Fathers posted to... Hey. Hey, hey. You and your wife planned it. Because you are impotent. Hey. I have video evidence to prove it. Now do you want me to go public with it? Or do you want me to the scandal to spread in Ihube? It will affect you, it will affect the Reverend Father in question. Is with me. Please let no other ear hear this, please. Very good. Now, apart from the two of you, has anyone heard about what Uno vomited in my palace earlier today? Have you told anyone? Have you? No, 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 no. Mm. Stanley. I quickly dismiss the Mazu Chike so that uh, they will not tell him anything. Then make sure that they all followed us inside his our car, as you instructed your majesty. As his majesty instructed? I never had any heart attack. I merely faked it to bring you people here. Affected to bring all of you here. For what? Your yeah, Majesty. Uh, uh, is there some truth in Onu's accusation? Do you have a hand in the tragedy that befell Onu, my kinsman, and his family? Eh? Yes. Your Majesty, are you the one who arranged the uh, robbery to set Arinze up? Uh, where, 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 where is Osmond? Did you kill him too? Do you expect me to answer those silly questions? To you? Stanley, Your Majesty, give me that. What? Huh? This is Otarana, <laughs> the deadliest and the most potent totem for swearing in our tradition. <laughs> Otarala kills very disgracefully. Anyone who swore by it and fails to do what is wrong. Swear with Otarala, both of you. That no ear will ever hear what Onu said at our meeting. Or speculate about what happened yesterday. In fact, swear that you will do whatever I ask you to do without any question at all. Should you do otherwise, let Otarala kill you and your entire families. Swear now. But your majesty, you already have damaged stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
about both of us. So, so I, I, that I, is to make you swear. And this is to ensure your silence and loyalty forever. Two different things for two different purposes. Now, swear. With your right hand. With your right hand. Link your hands and put them over there. I swear Take away your hands, you have sworn. What are we doing in the hotel room? You told me in the car, the doctors finally were able to patch up and link up to the extent to regain consciousness and corroborated my story to the police on tape before she finally died yesterday. For that, all charges against me were dropped today and I was released to you about an hour ago. So what? Why are we in our town? Instead of us going home to celebrate it. Where is my father? He did not come with me. You traveled? Mm. So my father is at home. And he did not come to take his son who was granted. He is not aware you have been released. I couldn't tell him. His first son. He should be happy that I'm out and free from. He knows. He will kill you. Yes, he found out much. He found out. Found out what, man? Found out what? The doctor he sent to treat you when you got healed after your arrest last week. Did not just treat you, Kelly. He obtained some specimen from you for a DNA test on the others of your father. I don't get it. Why would my father order a DNA test on me? From the earliest days of our marriage, we started suspecting that you were not the son. Especially when I had you seven months into our marriage, with the help of the doctor. I convinced him that you were born premature. He started doubting your paternity again after your arrest for murder and the scandalous confession you made about the thefts you made on campus. You can't begin to imagine how many threats we have gotten from members of different court groups because of you. He had to do something before things get out of hand. And he or any of your siblings get killed by them. Before I knew what was happening, the test was over and the results out in the public domain. It confirmed that you were not his biological son and your father made a radio announcement about it, telling all those threatening us to let us be and go for you instead. Since you are not scientifically proven not to be his son, since then, the threat stopped. I have to rush to sneak you out of the police station before the news of your release goes public. Cortex must be written in the way to silence you forever. So, Maseka, more than my husband's threats, it is what the devils might do to you that I fear most. I have lost my husband already. Yes. He filed for a divorce after the test. I don't want to lose you too, Kelly. You are my blood. I can't let you die. I can't, my son. My dear son, I am sorry. 
Hold my body, Chico Freda. Why don't you please, please, my son? Please. Go to this address in Igumali, at the local government area, Bengal State, and meet the man whose name is in this paper. He is your biological father's very close friend. I am sure he will take you to him. Take this thing. That's all I could raise for you. My husband ordered my bank account suspended. Your father, my dear husband, was murdered. I was brutally made blind. And look at you, my son. You were set up, detained, and mercilessly tortured for the crimes you never committed. And the lawyer you paid to help you was murdered just few hours after getting paid his part payment with your last savings. Look at you. You are facing charges for three capital crimes that you never committed. How can I stop crying? Tell me, how can I stop crying? Eh? I will survive this. And I will come back to you now. We will pick up the pieces and rebuild our family. Okay? You will survive it how? Eh? We don't have any money. Not even to hire a third class lawyer to argue your case. I mean, the time if we're going to get you acquitted here, who's going to do that for you? Who's going to take care of your blind mother? Tell me. Children, you will never fail us in Jesus' name. Amen. Chum, take Mama back home. Look for anything, anything whatsoever that you can sell to raise money. At least to sustain yourselves and use the remaining to launch my legal defense. 
There is nothing that we are going to be sold except land. Then sell the land. But, but, but not the one that the proposed oil well is to be cited. Not that one. I'd rather go to jail than have that land sold. Talk like that. You're not going to jail. You will not go to jail, I read it. You will not go to jail. This is your father's house. No yes, this is his house. Adaku. It is me, Ozuku. Yes, your landlord in Igumali. Alamochi. Alamochi, babe. Hey, hey, hey. Mama, eh? this way. It's me. What happened to you? Is that really you? When I found out that she, one of my students there, had an affair with my husband, and that she is even pregnant for him, I forgive her and even ready to allow her to become my husband's second wife. Had it been your grandfather agreed, Eunice would have been here today as one of us. But as a rich and powerful man, 
in Nkumeh. He has led on people against us after sending your mother away. My husband, out of fear for our safety, he resigned his job at the railway corporation when they refused his transfer. And we quickly ran down to this village. That was the last time I heard about your mother. I have nothing against anyone. Neither did your father. But if you say that what you seek from me is forgiveness, I forgive you from my heart. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Choma. Choma, my daughter. Please accept him. Mr. Uzoko here is your father's best friend. And he is a responsible man too. You can never lie about a thing like this. This young man here is your brother. Yes. Mama, please. My head is running riot now. I need to get some rest. Rest, Mama. We should the one way. What game is Fred playing with me these days? At the time, I thought I had successfully escaped from the people after my life from my last car on campus. Here am I, net dick, into a web of crime that got us mom in trouble and after me and Mr. Kenneth in the first place. From what I've heard so far, it was my family, Uwe, whoever he is, blackmailed him and raised him into wrecking. It was my biological father and mother. It was my biological father they killed. And it was my stepmother they made blind, they barely blind. And it was stepbrother, stepbrother they set up and from the look of things, he will want him convicted and found. He's got punishing me. And he comes all the sick fine to me. He say my innocent. My disposal is not sleep. That is the case. How do I how do I go about it without endangering my life? Good day, Your Majesty. What did you find out? It is true. 
The young man is living in the chair in the wild house, as you speak. But from the look of things, the family has already accepted him. No. That must not be. I will not accept that nuisance of a surprise springing up to spoil everything for me this late in the scheme. No. Never. How do you want it handled, Your Majesty? You must go. He has to die. Make it look like uh, he voluntarily left. Because of the crisis he found upon his return. Let him leave a note behind to that effect. I will get it arranged quickly, Your Majesty. You better do. And last month, what update? My man is on it. He promised to give me results when I called him last night. I don't want surprises. I want Osmond dead. And I want the evidence when it happens. I blame his mess on you. You failed to anticipate it. And you failed also to master up things to stop it. That's what I pay you. And that's what I'm keeping you for. Success and failure have prizes. You have received prizes for various successes. The prize of failure is dire and deadly. You must live up to it. Rise up and be sure that you don't get caught by it. If you love yourself. I am not bluffing, Stanley. I don't bluff. Just coming from the hospital. The DNA test, which he himself paid for. Confirm that he's our brother. What? Believe me, I did not come back here to make any trouble with any of you. I am sorry that rather than being a pleasant surprise to you people, it turned out to be an added emotional body. Please. Lessen the burden for us. Go away. Just, just go away for now, please. It's too late now, I'm sorry. How do you mean? He can't go now. Our uncles, Ichiodeko and Masichike, told me yesterday that if indeed he is who he says he is, that his coming back has complicated issues for us.
I, as a woman, can no longer dispose of any of Papa's belongings. They are now jointly owned properties. That's not possible! He is not... Oh God! Please God help me! Help me! I don't really understand how you feel right now, Amise. You do? Yes, I do. Well, I'll be going back to the village tomorrow with Chum. I should do whatever necessary to raise the money to get you out of this place. The test shows that he is indeed my brother. You are welcome home, my son. Uh, you are welcome in our midst, my dear. Thank you, sir. Uh, that is why we called for another family meeting. My husband, their father, my late husband, and your cousin has to be properly buried. <clears throat> And a good lawyer hired to handle our reason's case. Of course, Eddie, we don't have any money. It requires money. My name is Moro, Kamasisi, Kamatolo. We don't have anything at the moment. So that is why I also decide to dispose some of my husband's property so that we can do something about it. But we decided to involve you to know how to go about it uh, without falling foul of your customs and tradition. Uh, why still you stop to ask? Um, unless the properties are first shared, or it's only the first son that has the right to sell them. With the concepts of other sons, so, however, the property sharing cannot be done without the physical presence of the other sons of the disease. That is how it is. Arinze authorized me to make the sale on his behalf. No, he can only do that with the family offer in his hand. At least with one of us, the elders of the family, as a close witness. My elders, if you're all ready, we can proceed to the police station to get the authorization needed. Wait, if Arise does that, it means that he has relinquished the right he has as the first son of the family. At least all the properties to kill him until the ritual is uh, reversed. In other words, all the properties now becomes Kelly's to do whatever he wishes. Kelly! Uh, uh, God forbid I should place anything above my brother's freedom or any good of this family, now or in the future. <clears throat> Ada can be Choma. You said you'll never abandon us, Lord. Where are you? My mother and I will take any risk to get Arunze out of that place he's in. Mm, okay, that's okay with me. I will go with you. Hey. In my hand is the offer of our father and ancestors. Our people's symbol of truth, justice, and brotherhood. As the first son of our father, Inua, I remain the rightful holder of the families of four upon his death. Now, in the presence of our kinsmen, well represented by Ichio Degu, I temporarily hand over this offer to you to enable you to take care of some of the family's emergencies 
that my incarceration could not allow me to do by myself. With this, I empower you to dispose of any of our late father's property that you deem necessary to help you carry out your task. This arrangement automatically ends the moment I come out a free man. If you agree, kiss the offer. Disappointment is not an option. Both the living and the dead are watching you. God is watching you. Don't worry about me, Amazon. I am a man of God. I will never disappoint you. When your father and I came back to this village, we had all the family's portions of land surveyed and registered at the State Ministry of Land. Even this house and the land upon which it stands, before the elders of the family, I officially hand them over to you. Yeah, uh, wait. Wait, our wife. With what Arinze did today at the police station, it means that Kelly here is the only person who can keep every document pertaining to his father's property. In that case, you will have to release all, not just some, to him. Eh? Hmm. Okay, hold it. That is what our tradition is saying. And we have to work according to our tradition. Chama, don't worry. What is with me is with all of us. To me, this is just a ceremony. It changes nothing. Please trust me. Trust you? I don't understand. Trust you in what the family has left. In just how many days of meeting you. Oh dear. Listen. I may be in a tight corner, but I am definitely not naive. Alright, sorry to disappoint you. My mother hey, and I... Go and get me the rest of the documents. No. Please, I apologize on her behalf. She's emotionally unstable at the moment. Please, do be a with her.
Everything to the young man. The final decision was made a few hours ago. They are looking for buyers for their portion of lands. Uh, anyway, as I'm speaking to you now, in fact, the young man is in possession of the document of every land they know I had. You know, yesterday, you ordered me to inform you of any happenings in that family. That's why I rushed this morning to intimate you of this new development. you just brought has earned him a few more days on earth. Now, I want that land they are offering for sale. Uh, 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 you want to buy them? Yes. Uh, you and each other will do the transaction for me as soon as the land papers are signed he will join his father hey. Hey. is now a raging place. You have just been hit by a deadly brush with its mercilessly. It is no more detail. Yes. The big decision. The big decision time has come. And it is now. And here. This is the moment. Who are you? 
Uh, Jay, my name is Kelly. Uh, my uncles, Ichi Odeku and uh, Mazi Chiki, told me to come here that you'll be interested in the land my family is. Oh, 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 oh. Did it only son of Enua. <laughs> you are welcome, my boy. You are welcome. Mm? Oh, please have your seat. And uh, you can see what you are doing. Help yourself too. Mm? No, Ichi, I, I don't drink alcohol. Mm. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you are welcome. Yes. Oh, Ichi, like I said, my uncles told me to come if you would be interested. With regards to the properties your family is putting up for sale, right? Yes, Chief. You couldn't have come at a better time. With me here is Mr. Banner, the operations uh, manager of uh, the construction company. Uh, the government has just uh, awarded uh, a contract uh, to his company to construct uh, a road. Uh, passing through the kingdom into a uh, modern highway. Mm. He's here on behalf of his company, looking for a place to uh, buy and use as operational uh, base. Uh, Mr. Daniel, this is the young man I was uh, discussing with you a while ago. Yes. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Thank you. Uh, we are young man. I am interested in the properties. Uh, there is a proposal that this young man, Mr. Daniel, will want to discuss with you first. I must warn that unless you agree uh, with the proposals, I will not be interested again. Uh, Mr. Daniel, please. Yes, Mr. Kelly. I already taken the ones we agreed to sell, not in love. He has already taken the papers to his lawyer and I made him understand how urgent it is and uh, he has agreed to make payment to Hey, that's very fast though. Okay, I will go with you tomorrow to collect the money. In fact, I will want to collect the money myself. Uh, Ichi Ozala insisted that the transaction will be completed at the Igwe's palace and he said he's going to be the principal witness. Uh, from what he said, uh, I don't know how true it is and he said you've been barred from entering the palace. Yes, and he equally said even if the Igwe changes his mind and allows you to enter the palace, seeing you, he's going to back off from the ongoing transaction. Okay. That's my husband's best friend you're talking about. Mama, okay. your husband's best friend insisted that I must sleep with him before he renders help to us while you were at the hospital. Oh my God. You finish cheer on Hey. Don't worry, man. Give and take. By tomorrow, we'll have three million naira in our with such amount of money, I believe the way out of this mess will be wide open for us and our reason. Okay, if His Majesty and the Chosen do not want to see me, you so bad, you But I maintain that I will follow you to go and collect the money. I may not enter the palace with you, but I'll wait for you by the roadside. Okay, I don't Mama, I don't know. I just know that I will follow him. Pain is 
Agreeing to grace this transaction with your royal presence as my witness. Um, I know you have always been a very close friend to me. But this is one honor from you that I will always appreciate until the day I die. Um, Mr. Kelly, you said you want the money in U.S. dollars. Yes, the chief. Yes. My is in that bag. Confirm it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate Confirm my as well. Shoma, my apologies to Arisa and your mother. I know how wrong what I'm doing is, but I have no choice. I'm already on my way out of the country with all the money I got from your property sale. Do you understand why I do it someday? Bye for now.
Money, your Majesty. I'm finished. My, your Majesty, what are we going to do? Complete the transactions ourselves. Oh, your Majesty. See, the idiot, the idiot left the original property documents. He left them in his, in his, in his hurry. How it just keep the money. How we need to do is that uh, effect some forgeries. Effect some forgeries here. Effect some forgeries there. Good. The properties are ours. You see? Didn't you hear him say he was traveling? That means he did not just do for us. He also duped his family. Your Majesty, what if he comes back and exposes us? I mean, he did not leave any signature statement for us to work with, Your Majesty. I mean, how can we watch something that we've not seen before? See, I don't know what you're thinking. But, for me, I'm not going to let go that $40,000 he took from me. I don't know what you're thinking. But if it has to do with my losing my $40,000 to that Nikon poop, no, it never do not happen. As for you, you can lose your $13,000 to him, never belonged to you, company's money. That's good for you. As for me, my money is gone, so the properties are mine. Your Majesty, my question is simple. What happens if he returns? He dies! He dies if he returns. That's what happens if he dares to return. No one does what he just did to me and lives to tell the story. No one. Okay. But who will help us to sign the documents, Your Majesty?
<laughs> I don't believe that text message is sent to you. I think he's lying so that he can buy himself some more time for a perfect escape. Arise. That is no consolation in this situation. Don't he even need to buy more time? I mean, even if he was lying, what money do we have to launch a man for it? We don't have money. We're finished. We are done for. Didn't you at least inform us, his caseman, when he made that request? How can you agree to buy all of Enugu's pieces of land just like that? Eh? What do you think, His Majesty, the Igwe, and her people will make of? Uh, my, my please, take His Royal Majesty and our people out of this. Odeko, you know me very well. I care less about what people will make out of my ashes on issues of land, provided I did not break any known law, as is the case here. Yes. Come on, gentlemen. Arose's case is a no win case. It is watery. Hmm? His family is obviously refusing to accept that fact. They are so desperate that left on their own, they will not stop selling their properties because of him until everything is gone. And I want to ask a question. In whose house would you want your brother's parcels of land to be? In the hand of a total stranger? Or in the hand of your childhood friend? 
Which one? In my own opinion, Udeku. I would say that both ends are evil. Mm -hmm. But the condition with what Mazia Ozana did is evil. But the evil is lesser. So you concur with him? Eh? No, it's a, it's a lesser evil. Oh, good. Thank you very much, Ichechi, for now appreciating that fact. Enuma was a very close friend of mine when he was alive. But I didn't know that that boy would run away with the huge sum of money. I would have insisted in paying that money into Arinze's bank account. But I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I see crisis for that family. I see bigger crisis for them. And that brings me to why I called both of you here. To rub minds together. Eh? As men of like minds. Give me one minute. One minute. One minute. Reasons with me on this issue. Eh? Yes. Look at me. Look at us. Look at my head. that I sustained while they were forcing us out of my father's compound. <laughs> my father's compound. Look at what they have done to the daughter of the compound. <laughs> the daughter of the family. Look at my black mother. Look. Look at what they have done to your own family. Joma, now you please stop the morning and tell us why you say we are coming to our houses to meet us. <coughs> it's you, Dick. Ajoka, we don't have all the day here. We say whatever you want to say, our ears are listening. Hey, Joma, Joma. I did not tell Ichi Odeko and Ichi Chike. I didn't know the ones talking. Eh? Come down. Eh? It's Ruby. My uncle. Biko. We have come to you for help. Biko. Biko. Give me my yaka. Please. Go. 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 Help us and beg Josala. Beg him and the company to return. Uh, can't us off any such arrangement? Hmm. What? Yes, yes. Can't us off anything that has to do with your family and with your problems henceforth. Yes. Isn't it obvious that you people are cause? I don't want my family to be infected by the cause. Stay away from me and my family for now. If you love yourself. <laughs> I did not 
Touch you? Oh, it is a pity. Then have pity on me. Have pity on your best friend, blind wife, and the family. Uh, that is why I gave that money to your, that young man, Kelly, to take care of your problems. What else do you want from me? In exchange for all the portions of land my husband had. How could you call that pity, Ichiosa? The company that bought our compound, I also heard they came through you. Deny it. Deny it, Ichiosa. I was only trying to help all of you. I was only trying to help you people. I was only trying to help? Ichi, it is not my voice that you are hearing. It is the voice of grief. The voice of my late husband, your best friend. Iche, if my husband was given a chance to make a preparation before his death, he would have handed us over to no one else but you and his majesty. Please, I beg you, have mercy on me, the blind widow and the orphan before you. Please, I beg you. How? Return at least half of our land to us. Prevail on the company that bought our compound to vacate so that we will move in immediately. That is the only thing I ask of you each year. Mm. Okay, agreed. But you get the money I paid for the land you are referring to and the one the company paid for the compound you get all of it and uh, you will get all your properties today Ichi Ichi Kelly has disappeared with all the money mm -hmm. what fault of mine is that hmm? you find him and beg for mercy I'm not me. Gee, please. We just need somewhere to stay. Pico. Ah. There is nothing impossible in getting a place for you both, Choma. <laughs> but you see, my demand still stands. What? Ichi! What? What demand? Don't tell me it's true that you want to sleep with Choma. What about that? No, tell me, what about it? Is she not a full-grown woman? Just like I am a full-blooded man. Hmm? no one! Ichioza, are you hearing your best friend? God, God of the blind, go 
God of justice. Look upon my grief and tears and rise. Let there be no peace for the man before us today and the rest of his life. A woman, your life is already the opposite of peace. What of you? Get out of my compound now. Get out! And then leave my compound before I get. We don't want to see his majesty. Let us see his majesty. We don't have any business in this palace. We don't this palace with a useless mother. Now, get out! We just want to see him. I'm not going to fight with him. Let me let me and my mother beg you. Go with me. Your Majesty, the ladies are. I know who the women are. They are constituting a nuisance to the children of that school who are from this community. Throw them out. I should throw them out, Your Majesty. They are occupying an empty classroom. And it is far from where children use. I, I actually had pity on them, allowed them to use the place. When they came to me complaining that. Are you by any chance trying to defy me? No, Your Majesty. Are you defying the Igwe of Igwe? No, Your Majesty. I was only. Mr. Headmaster. If by nightfall those women are still in that school, you will lose that primary school and your career will be in jeopardy. I do not hand out empty threats. Go and do my, my instruction. Sorry, I'm a Justin. You got a chain of the bank, a bank, you got a chain of the bank, a bank. You got a chain of the bank, a bank. You got a chain of the bank, 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 you got a
Did you finally erect the house? Ma, the same place I told you now. Choma, come. Go, go in where? Choma. A house built on the forbidden land? Choma. A place where the shrine of a destroyed fetish god used to stand? Mama, God forbid, take me out of here, Choma. Mama. Mama Pico, this is not easy for me. It's not. The Igwe I have told you issued a royal decree barring everybody from Ihube land from ever accommodating us. In compliance, everyone has rejected us, including our own church leaders. I had no choice. I had no other option left than to put up this place with the materials I got from the neighboring community. Seeing that this place is the only place where the Igwe cannot determine what happens in. According to our traditions, only the chief priest has such powers and he is not yet back to the kingdom. See how God works. It was a Mecca the madman that came from nowhere. Saw me struggling to erect this place and started helping me without being asked. Till we finished, he neither behaved like a madman nor said a word. And when we were done, he left, still saying nothing. What does that tell you? Is God not great? Are we not serving a miraculous God? I mean, if God can use a madman to give us accommodation, after all we have been through in the last couple of days. Mama, the best we can do is to gratefully move in and make use of what has been given. Stop, Jemma! Stop it! What is all this for? I will never, I will never live in a place set aside for the gods. 
why you came up with this idea yesterday. Shoma, I told you. I told you that this place belongs to the spirits. Are you not afraid of... No. I am not afraid. But I am tired. Am I not tired? We are tired now. Oh, we couldn't. Mama, let's go inside. Oh, we don't have any other choice. Mama, look. It looks like it's about to rain. Would you rather we sleep in the cold again? As has been the case in the last couple of days. Oh, if it rains, it promises to be a heavy downpour. Really? You know what? No way, no way, no way, no way. Igwe, it will never be well with you. Ichi or Sarah, Kelly, and anyone else that has a hand in reducing me to this, God will punish you all. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God, where are you? Hey, 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 How on earth can we raise fifty thousand naira in this our present condition? How? Okay, okay. I have been thinking since we left the court house. Perhaps if we can start some form of enterprise where income will flow in from, it will go a long way. Enterprise? Yeah. Sure, ma. Mama, are you looking at your partner before thinking about all that? Your hungry, blind mother. What can this partner do? Mama, you can make brooms. Can you? I mean, you can make brooms for sale even in your condition. Rooms. Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Then let us make brooms for sale. The money might not be a lot, but small small will be gathering it. You're right. But what quantity can we be able to produce daily that will give us the amount of money we're talking about? I don't know, Mama. But anything is better than not. No one can help us, God. Choma, there is one more problem. Where do you think we will get the raw materials from? Can I buy a gesin we want to pay Jemaiz? Mama, they say where there is a will. There is always a way. And in this situation, the will is not lacking. You said you never abandoned us. cannot suffer for what he knows nothing about. Humban, we won't let that happen. Yes. Yes, my son Arinze. You will not suffer for what you know nothing about. Hmm? You will not suffer. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, keep it Ibunga la ba 
Ponte Santo Aniô, Onde nem mais Bungalaba, Jesus e Bungalaba mo, e Bungalaba de Santo Aniô, Onde nem mais Bungalaba, Chimo e Bungalaba mo, e Bungalaba de Chukwa Can you see how you are reducing your for nothing? For what? Eh? It's yourself. I beg you in the name of my late father. Let me be. Please. Shama, I won't let you be. I won't let you be. Jump into the car. And let us go and... And have sex. Family will never remain the same again. Forever. It's It looks to me like you are the one. You are the one behind all my family has been going through from day one. Just to frustrate me into sleeping with you. Okay? God forbid. Why would you think that? Why? In other words, you are only but a wicked man. A wicked man who is exploiting his late friend's tragedy and that of his family just to achieve his sexual desires. Choma, 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 you are taking this out of context. Yes. What did you want from me? As always, sex. Sex. Eh? <laughs> Listen. If you are now ready, my car is free. Come on, come on. Hmm? <laughs> Where do you want it? In your car or in your house? Achoma, you know I am a titled man. We should go to my house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. It's beautiful, hmm? <laughs> Good. I'd love to kiss your hand too. Oh, really? Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hey. Hey. The next time you try this nonsense with me, it will not be your fingers I will bite, but I will chop off your hand with you. Yes. 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 I will chop off your hand. Hey! Stinking old man like you! Oh, I'm not going to You're wicked! Oh, go over! Go over! Go over! Go over! You will never be there with you! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! In your next world, it will never be there! Oh, you have seen the entire fan line. I want you to weed it thoroughly and cultivate. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it very well. The reason why I'm asking you is that if it is not well done, my father will not pay you. You know my father. He will not pay you. I will do it very well. You don't have to worry. So, how much is good for you to do the job? Any amount you, you think is good enough, it's okay by me. What manner of bargaining is that? Can't you mention any amount? Well, 
I haven't done this type of work in somebody's farm before. So I don't even know what to bargain or how to bargain it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Once you are done with the job, I will tell my father to pay you 3,000 naira. Deal? If it's okay by you, it's fine. Did I say something wrong? No, 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 no. As soon as you start the job, come to me for your morning, afternoon, and evening meal. And as soon as you finish this one, remember the first portion of land I showed you? Of the land? Yes. Thank you. Mama, like we discussed earlier, you will do the selling alone. If you do not trust the buyer and the money you were given, the pig, you're somebody. Beg somebody to help you identify the money. You know what? I will be off to Papu Bioma's farm now to start the wedding and cultivation job that I got. And I will be back later in the day to take you home. You know what? Good evening. Welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Now naira. No, 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 wait. wait. Are you sure this is hundred naira? Yes, my hundred naira. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. me some cassava to use as my meals for the two days I'll be working in their farm. Hey! 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 Mama, eh? guess what I want to do with them? Yeah. I want to process it into Gary. Hey! Gary? <laughs> I, I think I have a better idea. Tapioca. Tapioca. Yes, guys, Abacha. Nyano, it can easily be sold. Eh? And we'll make money out of it. If we do that, what are we then going to eat? Tapioca too? Yes, Choma. Tapioca is good food. I think with that idea of tapioca, we'll make it sell and make more money, buy more cassava, buy food stuffs and make savings. The broom business is still there. Nobody's touching it. Hmm? What do you think, my daughter? It's a good idea. 
I like it. <laughs> Help me drink water and eat right. Then I'll come back and begin to clean it. Let me show back, show back. Yeah. Bring some more, let me help you. Yes, Mama. Eh? Huh? Oh, you're young one. Oh, who are you going to do? Your sister is dying, you no? Know? Hmm? She's struggling. We'll soon come out. of them raising money needed to successfully defend Arinza's case is not there at all. To me, they are just surviving from it. I don't want them to survive at all. I don't want Arinza to be defended at all. Anyhow, you look at it. Eyebrows will be raised by people the moment the location of the oil wells becomes public knowledge. People will suddenly realize that those oil wells were located in Enua. I don't know whose lands. If by then any soul from those two families still survives, another surprise might spring up from an unexpected source and then I might end up the ultimate loser. You want all of them dead? All of them. Maybe in less dramatic Osmond, Marisa, Joma, and Adako. All of them. Well, the summary of it all is that his spirit was quite lifted on hearing our progress so far. Hey! Like us, He's swimming in hope. Hope that 
This whole crisis is coming to an end by God's grace. Oh, I can't wait to hold him in my arms as a free man. I know, Mama. You will. You hold him. Here. I bought snacks for you. The yeah. same place I bought for him. Yeah. Hey. That would be a change of diet for him. <laughs> eh? That's true. Uh, can I share this one? Huh? Can I can uh, 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 yeah. I don't want mama eat all of it. I am too hungry for this. What I need is solid food. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is soup inside though. Mm -hmm. You can make it up for yourself.
to give me such a huge amount of money. Um, we've never met before. Well, we're meeting now. And you're the richer for it by half a million naira. Isn't that something to be grateful for? Your Majesty, I am an apostle of the nothing goes for nothing philosophy. So, uh, why are you... I am paying you to back off a reason in the worst case. What? You volunteered to represent him in that case without a fee. And now, you have been paid a huge sum of money. Why, Your Majesty? You really want me to answer that? Um, yes, and um, it is only on that condition that I will do what you want me to do. Barrister, it does him. Is there anything you think a billionaire, first class, traditional ruler? who has paid you a huge sum of money to back off a case cannot do to have his way. I treat them my life, Your Majesty. <laughs> You're smart after all. Especially the Chiamas side of it. Has Dr. Sam called you to give an update on the mother's state of health in that cell center? Yes. He called me before the barrister arrived and said that the woman has regained consciousness. Mm. She has? Yes. He said that her grief after she has told what happened has been overwhelming 
And uh, since then, she has refused to talk to anyone or agreed to be talked to. Uh, she has buried him herself in her own grief and uh, been mourning endlessly. Your Majesty, do I administer a lethal injection as we planned? No. But now that she has uh, regained consciousness, um, nothing dramatic for now, remember. Um, we'll have to find another way of eliminating her pretty soon. For now, I am more interested in Osmond. Call the guy that's searching for him. I want to talk to him now. They took everything. I came back from the hospital and found the woman Chioma and I saved gone. On her feet. Nothing was left at all. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo to the evil one. They finally won. Don't, don't talk like that, Tarizi. Evil can never win a just war. Ours is not a just war, Mama. It's a war of treachery, of evil and death. There's nothing just about it. Now that it is obvious that a monstrous evil person somewhere was responsible for everything. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand it. Choma was set up. The lady that sold the snack to her has disappeared. What? Not just that. The lawyer who volunteered to handle my case left me a while ago. He has dropped the case, Mama. And now you've lost all your money. It's over. Over my mother, warm. Check it out, Chelo. Chelo. What are you saying? Are you trying? Mama, I'm trying to say nothing. But bravo to the evil person that is responsible for all this. They've won. It's over, Mama. It's over. Can't you see the way we are so okay?
I am in, interested in Asmund's death. Do you hear me? Go ahead and kill him immediately, even if he does not talk about the money. Yes. It's all right. See, just go ahead and chop off his useless head, decapitate it, and then get me video evidence. I will do exactly as you said. I hope you have uh, you have things uh, the two necessary tools to use in captain. Go ahead, do it, and bring the video evidence to me, and I will pay you handsomely. In fact, I'll pay you more than double. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, boy. Thank you for making my day. Hey, this is this is what I call surveillance. This is what I call successful mission. Good. Thank you. He told you to kill me. He said I should behead you. I'll record it on video. I'm bringing it to him as evidence. Hey, please, please, don't do such a thing to me, please. I beg you, God's name. Please, don't kill me. I don't want to die. You know what? See, I still have four hundred fifty thousand dollars of His Majesty's money. Okay? Spare me. I promise I will share the money with you. I will share it with you fifty-fifty. Please. Too late, bro. His Majesty is more interested in your death than the money. And the man you are talking to is a co-professional. I am not interested in your offer. Boss, hmm? that's a huge amount we are talking about here. That's a huge money. See, we are talking about $450,000. Not, not $450,000. Huh? Think of what this money can do for you and your family now, please. Don't you me. Let me tell you something. His Majesty is a blood taxi madman. He will just wait like a common dog. Huh? He will not give any time of what he promised you. Look, let me tell you something. Hmm? I promise. I'll make you a millionaire instantly. If only. I said I'm not interested. Save your breath. You have a zero hour now. Please. Please. Don't kill me now. Please, I beg you. Don't kill me. I beg you. I'm going to die. Hey. 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 What are you doing? Wait, I'm going to find you. What I'm about to do. Exactly what I wanted. Hey, 
exactly how I wanted it. Tomorrow I will go personally and see the state governor and ensure that he signs the death warrant in two weeks time. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Not yet. Not yet, Stanley. Sit down. Chioma and her mother are still alive. Your man, Ken, is yet to confirm with a video evidence the death of Osman. Six days after he called to say that he had him. And since then, his phone has been switched off. Your Majesty. I have told you not to worry about Ken. If there is anyone that I trust after myself, it's him. And I must tell you that Ken loves surprises more than anything. And I believe that he is at it again with this. I hate surprises. How many times will I tell you that? I will not believe. There is nothing that will make me believe. That Osman is dead until I see the video evidence. Period. In that case, I will go for him myself if after two days from today, if he did not show up with the evidence. Meanwhile, I want Ichio Zala and Ichio Deku permanently out. They know too much. Tomorrow, you will get them out of the way without any trace. I have paid the Inspector Busi to go to Chioma's cell and poison her. The same tomorrow, you will pay her mother a visit. Inform her. But then she will be grieving. Then you will kill her. Make it look like she died out of overwhelming grief. About time we cleaned the table. Then to be time to celebrate. Consider it done, Your Majesty. Consider them done.
contigo, Benke. Ó, Benke. Tô. Vale. Pera, não tô. Has her mother been informed? Oh yes. Corporal John was sent to go and inform her. And I made sure that there was no mention of poison in their report. She was found dead in her cell and she will be buried before nightfall as you instructed. Excellent. Excellent. No, Igwe, in the chair of Ihube Kingdom, as the unknown of this kingdom, my opinion will naturally be guided by the customs and traditions of our land. On this issue, therefore, I stand with the ways of our ancestors. Thank you very much, Anu. You've spoken very well. Let us encounter. Um, I take it that this happens to be the last opinion from the others in cancer. Now, my judgment. I hereby align my judgment with that Therefore, why be the symbol of authority of our kings belongs to the gods of Ihube, from whom our kings derive their legitimacy, powers and the privileges. The gods asked me to come to the coven with it. When I shall return, only the gods know that when that happens, what is hidden shall be revealed and what is taken shall be restored. But until then, no matter what happens, do not consult any Dibia or Akrovsia to know why. They will destroy whoever that tries that in an unimaginable way. Go and tell the way that sent you to me, what I just said. Go! 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 Now listen, all of you. Outside, all of us here, apart from all of us here, I do not want to hear what transpired with the four of you. None of it must be heard outside. Do I make myself clear? Now I'm not just giving an instruction. I am issuing a decree. And I am issuing that decree with my manhood. Disobeying this decree is deadly. Any 
anybody that disobeys my decree will remain sterile. And all the children of that family will be sterile. Now I want to be left alone. God was now out to this grace and destroy you for what you did to your brother in order to become complete with five months ago. Your fall will be handed over to be a new anointed by the chief priest when he returns. And he will tell the people the whole truth. You have lost a children like a young gentleman you might change. That's not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable. The throne is mine. It must be handed over to my son upon my death. Not to any person, no matter who he is. I will not accept it. I will not accept it. Reveal to me. Show me the anointed one. And let me kill him. Let me kill him like an animal. Let me kill him like the animal. He is a dog. to the sea to acquire? Why? You who I was made to understand, to believe that you are powerful and you are indestructible, how can you do? Oh! Ah! Ah! What? Why did this 
now. Everything, 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 everything destroyed. Why do they have to do it now? Just when I need it. Just when I need it. Visit Adako. Hmm? Silence her permanently so that we know that that side is done away with. Once that's done, you will ensure that the cheer will take and the cheers are Do not return to Yube. Let them go from wherever they are. The governor has signed the execution warrant of Arimze, just like I wanted. I wired 500,000 Naira to the account of the prison officials, the head. He will be executed immediately they get the order. Everything is falling in place nicely. It remains finding Kelly and Kane. I want them dead too. I told you to stay back after a snap's voice. I will make sure that the story is told in such a way that nobody will ever suspect. That you poisoned the snacks you sold to Joma at the prison gate. No, no, you ran away, almost rubbishing the entire operation. Now you're back here to my palace, my palace of all places. Why? I need more money, Your Majesty. What did you say? I paid you 500,000 Naira for that deal. I just realized the money is too small, Your Majesty. I need to leave this country for the US. And you will arrange that for me. You will also give me 15,000 US dollars. Or I will tell the police and the public about what we did. Hmm.
Daniel too. We did not betray anybody. We only did what is expected of us. When Osmond and Kelly came to us three days ago to tell us what has been happening here. The drama about Shoma's death earlier today in our office was just an evidence gathering exercise. Chioma! Chioma! Come! And having gathered enough evidence, may I have the honor to tell you that you have the right to remain silent. Because anything you say again might be used against you in the court of law. Officer! Arrest him. You better change to BNK. Or BNK. 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 Move it! Why are we 
causes of a million years will come from you. You get my curse. You get my mother. Let heaven take you. Your generation is cursed. What happened to my dad? No. My mother. He has taken my mother. You get everybody. And the gods and ancestors of the kingdom take this take this go with truth and justice I've delivered my message 